Welcome to Excel Basic Series video number 17. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. And we got to talk about page setup, very important because we like to print things out sometimes. First thing about page setup, we have a little uh, payroll table here and you just want to look at the columns. Are they wide enough? That one's not, so I could double click right there. By the way, that, that's a fence they put up that says, hey, you're squishing me, so you've got to give an, enough room. Also here, you can see that word isn't re readable, so we'll double click there. Another thing you might want to do is if you have some room to spare, you can highlight all of the columns and make them all the same width just to add some uniformity. The way you do that is highlight all of them and then just select the biggest one and click and drag just a little bit, and they're all the exact same size. Now let's go and look and see what this looks like. We could go to the orb print and then print preview. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. Works in both uh, 2003 and 7. Control F2. Control F2. You can see our print preview. It's up in the corner. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. Add some headers and footers. I'm going to click this print preview and oh, escape gets you out of print preview. And now we want to go to page setup. In 2003 you have to go to file and then page setup. The alt keyboard shortcut is alt F U. In 2007 you have to go to page layout and then right here to launch the page setup. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut alt and we have to go to P in 2003 and then SP so alt PSP. And there you go, page setup. There's four tabs. Page, do we want portrait or landscape? For us, it makes sense to have it uh, portrait. Adjust, we could actually increase the size to 120 if we wanted to. Margins, uh, you can set them the top, the bottom, the left and right, and the headers and footers. But pretty much 90% of the things I've ever printed out, I just say click horizontally. Vertically would make it look funny with a table this small. Uh, and then we'll go to headers and footers. Now here's totally something amazing. Just like we have formulas that are linked to cells, you can have your headers and footers linked and show the file name or the sheet tab name. I'm going to click custom footer. Actually, why don't we close that, cancel, and we'll see there's the header, and that's a preview there, there's nothing in the footer. You can actually click the drop down, and there's a nice built in one, page one of one, one of question mark. That's if you have more than one pages, which we will in just uh, by the time we get to the end of this video. Custom footer. You can see you put it right in the middle, and that's the code uh, for uh, one of ten, two of ten, three of ten, four of ten. Now, um, that you can format the text. That'll put the page number. That'll put the total number of pages. That's the date. There's the time. There's the file path name. There's the workbook name. And there's the sheet tab. I'm going to click over here and click on the workbook. And then I'm going to type a space dash space and then click on the sheet tab. Now ours should say page setup in Excel basics, but what if you had week one, week two, week three uh, as your sheet tab names and say um, Excel basics instead of the, the workbook name, say pay, maybe it said payroll, right? So that would be a great way to link the file name and the, especially the sheet tab name. Then I'll click over here and uh, you could just type something. You could type your name here, whatever you want. I'm going to put the date and then click OK. Uh, and we'll come back and look at this one in just a moment. Click OK. Now let's go look. Control F2. Hey, that looks a lot better already. Maybe it could be a little bit bigger. Um, there it is. Uh, the, the, if you click down here, you can see it has the, the name, workbook name, and the sheet tab name. And if you change the sheet tab or the workbook name, that updates. Page one of one. And then sure enough, the date. I'm going to click Escape. Now I want to do a little uh, trickery here. I want to make this really big. I'm just going to copy this down here. And then we'll run into trouble and we'll see how to solve this. Let's make it even a little bit bigger than that. Now let's go and look. Control F2. I'm going to click once to make it small. Oh, so that first page, page looks OK. Our labels are at the top. The rest of it's fitting here. Let's go to uh, Next. But this one, look at that. It's, it's, it doesn't have any labels at the top. It's kind of hard to read. I'm going to click Escape. And we will Control F2. I'm sorry. We're not going to, we just looked at Print Preview. We'll go to Page Setup, Alt P. 
PSP, or if you're in 2003, Alt F U. Sheet. Actually, let's change the um, margins. Uh, let's go page and say fit. Let's do 125%. Now, let's click on this sheet, and there's a great uh, feature here rows to repeat at top, which is what we want. You click there and you simply highlight these first two rows. I click the one and the two and drag down. Now it'll repeat these at the top of each page. You can also do it for columns. And there's some other things that are possible here. You can even determine how to print it out down and then over, or over and then down. We'll say down. Well, it doesn't matter because we don't have anything to the right. I'm going to click OK and now. Control F2 for page setup. Looks like our labels at the top. We have our page. Oh, now it says page one of two. And let's go to next. And sure enough, it got the labels at the top. And it says two of two down here. Let's do one more test. I'm going to click escape. Then I'm going to double click this and type uh, week one. That's That would be our paywall. And enter. Now I'm going to control F2 to go to page setup and sure enough we could see how the label there is linked to our sheet tab name. I'm going to click escape. All right, that's uh, the ever important page setup. All right, and as always, you can always go to the YouTube XL is fun site here and on the left you scroll down. Sure enough there's a link to my college website. There's the workbooks for this video series, a free book that you can print out, 144 pages of written uh, Excel basics, and then all the other workbooks that you might need to watch the videos at uh, Excel is fun. And there is the direct link. See you next video.